it's uh snow here it's there's snow there a lot oh really we're a month behind you here probably in washington state michael yeah yeah and it all just happened so in it is innocently you know it's it's all just just what's happening so this is it just sitting at a zoom meeting there could be a feeling of anticipation of wanting to get something, feeling like there's something to get, is this already? Feeling like I'm on a journey, this already. feeling as if somebody else has something that I don't have. That's this already. So Nkosi doesn't have anything. Sander doesn't have anything. I don't have anything. And nobody has anything. Because there's nobody separate from everything to have or not have anything. So there's just this right here. There's no right or wrong. It's just what's coming up, however it's coming up. If it's not liked, it's not liked. If it's enjoyed, if there's a resonance, that's it. <clears throat> Going to different teachers, just this, innocently. Nothing right or wrong about going to different teachers, nothing right or wrong with practices, practicing or no practicing. It doesn't matter, it's all this already. And this is effortless. Not liking just falls like the rain. Or liking, liking just falls like the rain and it can, Flip on a dime. One minute the wind's blowing one direction, the next minute it's blowing a different direction. So really, this is an open meeting, a sharing, and you're welcome to participate, to jump in, kind of how it is for you, so to speak. Because again, there's no right or wrong. It's just sharing. Andreas, uh, one, one more question, if I may. Um, yeah. uh, it seems like also a lot of things have been gradually dropping off, right? And I don't notice it right off. All right, I, I just had to mute Dan. So yeah, somebody's unexpected voice can just appear innocently, spontaneously. Sometimes it seems like it's too complex, like, Oh, yeah, well, if it was just this, like, you wouldn't just hear a voice like that. Like, it would be much simpler. It'd be more like just like a simple cartoon, like the old Scooby-Doo's where, like, nobody's legs are really moving. Like, how could it How could it all just be this? Because, like, there's so much detail in it. 
<clears throat> yeah, beautiful. That's but, thinking it should be a certain way. It should be less complex. It's just this. I just noticed for me, uh, and I know this can change back and forth, but for a big part of me, I noticed that I have a greater comfort level uh, just generally and with people. And I find myself at work and things able to express myself and I'm more um, assertive if I need to be. And I, I really like it that I feel say more confident but at the same time, if you were to ask me another day, I might feel like I hated myself and I was in this cocoon. So I, I'm reluctant to say that this is, uh, well, I guess this is what I'm feeling overall, but I also have the feelings of the other things too that come up and then they're there and I need to uh, notice that. Um, but I'm just really grateful for, for what we're sharing and for this, just this, just this. Yeah, feeling like one time you're clear and then another time you're not clear is, is just this. That's just what's arising, confusion, feeling of not being clear. But like the wind, it never stays the same. Yep. I was just thinking that when we use the word or when I hear the word arising, and I think, Michael, you it might have been on your blog about it's not really arising from anything or nothing. It's not even even arising. It's it's still not even it's not even that. And I thought I I think it was on the blog, but I thought that was very insightful. It, it really resonated in a very deep way. Sander? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, we, 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 we chatted about this. You know, it's, it's this already. It's not coming from somewhere. It's not, uh, it's not hidden and then suddenly it's here. The idea that it comes from somewhere or that it's arising is just another idea that it comes from somewhere which of course is this too you know thinking this is hidden and is appearing as this is this already but basically it doesn't matter um but this is it there's nothing else which is arising as this you know the the sitting in the zoom is not arising it's just sitting in the Zoom. It's not something else which is arising as this. It's already just this. And it doesn't arise for anyone separate from this. There's no separate observer which is not this already. It's already not two. Yeah, the, the, there was a kind of, um, I'll, I'll sort of describe it as a deeper clarity or something, but it just sort of like, 
it like rang a bell or <laughs> sort of it was just like I don't know it was just something that very deeply hit me when I when I read that Yeah, it sounds very logical that this is nothing appearing as everything. In fact, it may even have come out of this mouth. It's nothing appearing as everything. Sounds, you know, cause and effect. There's a nothing. And from this nothing comes everything. Well, who would know that? What is separate from everything to know everything. Yeah, that that teaching that um, everything is nothing, nothing is everything. And I've heard that many, many times from many different teachers. But I think when I read that sentence, it was like a collapse and it was almost like I said, I could describe it. Something just collapsed into, uh, I'd say this without, without anything. It was just exactly, I don't know, it just collapsed right into the, this. It's the only way I could describe it. It was, it was very, uh, and so the, the phrase in language, yeah, everything is nothing and nothing is everything. But, but all of a sudden, even that was too many words. Yes, exactly. Yes. Can can everything know everything? No, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. I'm not a teacher, but it just seems like no. Why? Because everything is nothing. Well, can nothing know nothing? Can no thing know it? Can no thing know itself? I would say not. I mean, I'm just throwing out some some feelings, intuitions that I have about this. That would be my. I would I would call on Michael or Sander or Dan. I'll call on Dan. <laughs> I'm not just kidding. It's playing. I'll call anybody. <laughs> when I first came, Don, when I first came to this meeting, one of the something that I heard in Cosi say, he said, he said, it's hiding from itself. It loves itself. And I sent him a message on Facebook, I don't know, like after that, like a year ago or something. And I said, that was so cool. Like it was so it just was so, uh, I don't know, it was really cute. It just made the universe, it made whatever, it made this just seem playful to me. I said, I, I said I'd said, i like to hear you say more like that, because he has that way of expressing himself, so he's kind of fun to listen to like that. So that kind of falls in line with what you're saying, like, you're saying, like, can nothing know itself? Like he did make that, he did, he did say that. He's like, it's hiding from itself. And I haven't heard him say that since. And maybe, I guess, in this in this meeting, someone might say, hey, it's just someone saying, like, it's just this saying those words, which I don't, I wouldn't argue that. So Michael, can everything know everything? Well, what what is separate from everything to know it? Exactly. There, there, there's nothing separate. It so everything knows itself. No separation. Yeah, but well, who, who would who would know that? Yes, who would know that? Who would yes. know that everything knows itself? Only everything. Who? Well, who would know that? Who would yeah. know whether it knows itself or who would know 
that it didn't know itself. Well, we wouldn't know, but we don't know what everything is anyway. So but that's another no. We're, 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 we're talking about where we're assuming there is this everything. So we're already describing it in a certain kind of way. And we, we acknowledge that we can't know it. So if we can't know it, it could know itself and we're not going to know it. Well, they're not two. There's not something that's going to know it and something that's not going to know. Okay, we'll go with that. It no, everything knows everything. Okay. Okay, go with that one. Okay. Everything knows everything or nothing knows nothing. I mean, there's there's really, I mean, it's just equally this. I mean, there's nothing to either one of those two. I mean, you could say everything knows everything or nothing knows nothing. And it really, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Everything knows everything. Nothing knows nothing. Both are right. Both are wrong. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter, really. I mean, it's just words dancing around. It's just simply what's happening. You either like it, you go with it, or you don't go with it. And the going with it or the not going with it is as innocently as the idea that there's something which can be known or not. Which is basically just another knowing. That nothing can be known is just another knowing. That something can be known is just another knowing. Either way, none of them is wrong. And so is I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet is another knowing. I don't know what no means. <laughs> what does it mean to know? I don't know what it even means. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, yes. <laughs> <laughs> It becomes too funny at a certain point. You know, try to know nothing. Do your best. <laughs> and so the knowing of nothing is still a knowing. Ah, I know that this, that everything comes from nothing. So we, we have all these different sentences, all these different statements, possible statements about how it is and what, what it is or whatever. And uh, I guess we're seeing that they all, they're just different versions of this, right? They're just different stories. You make a whole long list of stories and decide which one is right. Okay, there's this, so that there's something behind this that sounds like, well, we're trying to see which one is better than the other one, like more right, or more real, or more, I don't know, more something, right? That's a story of a, of a one that's moving somewhere, trying to get somewhere, trying to get to some truth or some... I don't know, trying to get something from all of these words. And that's sort of like what Sander is always pointing to is that whatever words come out, they're always just this, it's just more this. We never get oh, you know, anything else besides this. And then it's, it's funny that there seems to be this, we call it a me that's looking for something out of this, some special this, or some some true this, or some some this that will get me somewhere else. It's where I'm trying to get to, or something, you know. Anyway, but this is this. <laughs> it's, it's already this. This kind yeah. of saying a word doesn't change it. It just makes it a different this. But it, yeah, 
anyway. It doesn't add anything to this. So why not why not just go limp? Why not just go limp, did you say? Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe that'll happen. Yeah, why not? Maybe it's already <laughs> limp. I don't know. I want to hang over like a large diameter wooden rod when I go limp with a pad on it. But I'm thinking about just going limp. Michelle down there, she she joined with me. We we've, we've been talking about starting a church of just going limp. <clears throat> I guess she just go in there and drape herself over a cushion for an hour. Yeah, the point for me though is when I hear that, it sounds like well, going limp, then that would be something. That would be something else other than this. I know that's why we didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going limp or screaming at the top of your lungs or. You know, it's just as equally this. I mean, words coming from our mouths is like a bee buzzing or a dog barking. There's nothing to it. It's just a bunch of uh, it's apparent noise appearing to happen. It's just uh, there's nothing to any of these words. There's nothing to learn from the words. It's just a bunch of noise. Or we could say there's everything to all the words. Yes, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Yes, Don. It's equally everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's both and neither. So it's everything and nothing and maybe completely something else. But the question comes up because there seems to be some some interest in finding a difference that will actually make a difference. You know, all these different statements and different words, different sentences. <laughs> and that's what there doesn't seem to be. There just seems to be this. No matter how, you know, how the differences appear. Yeah, that's the no escape part. No matter what's happening or not happening, or is believed to happen or is thought to happen, it's still just this. I mean, the words and all those thing, things don't bring you somewhere else. Man, what a shit show it's been at work this week, this month. You're using oh. my friend. <laughs> uh, well, tell us. Oh, you it's know. just... <laughs> it's just it's just uh no matter where i go it's the same so i talk to my colleagues at work and they say you know i'm gonna get a job here i said look i've tried all the waters it's the same everywhere it's just like a circus like nothing adds up the way you think that it should like you think like i'm in i'm in technology so like you think like okay you're gonna invent the technology and you're gonna you're going to put it on the table and the investors are going to say, that's, I want that. And uh, then they're, you're going to get investors and then you're going to sell a bunch of product and that's going to come in the door, but it's never about any of that stuff. It's about like, there's no cause and effect at play. You're just like how, like everything happens by accident, like dominoes falling. And it's like, and 
crazy, weird, sometimes scary dominoes falling, like irritating, micromanaging dominoes. Like, like the room is burning and people are like, we need to do employee reviews. That happened to me last month. Like, we're just teetering on the edge here. Let's do employee reviews. I'm not even an employee. I'm a contractor. Like that's like the tip of the iceberg. It's just crazy lunacy. Nothing linked to anything else in any sensible way. Isn't that just the way it is here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah said so much. When I wait every morning when I wake up, the first thing I say in my head, the first thoughts that are there in this are no one is having these experiences. <clears throat> Yeah, well, no one's even saying that no one's having this experience. There's j just nothing separate to do any individual talking or listening or seeing or thinking or feeling. There just isn't. There's just what's happening. However, liked or not liked, uncomfortable wishing it weren't like that is this. Isn't it funny how like this, like I feel like the society, like our upbringing teaches us like television and stuff. Like it teaches us, like I presented the group here with like a sensible story. Like you work hard as, as if that sensible story is like, like that conjuring up or that sense as if that is like, as if that represents how things are going to go down, how things are actually going to happen. Just because I think of like this, according to, according to my, my little view of cause and effect, like it should go like this and it shouldn't go like that. And it should go like this. It shouldn't be a bunch of crazy people doing crazy things in every company I ever go to. It shouldn't be like that. It should be like uh, General Motors was in the 1950s, like the icon of like, like everything should be like a 1950s Leave it to Beaver episode. And if it's not, there's, it's crazy. But in fact, it's not crazy. It's, it sure seems crazy. I I drive uh, trucks around the country and sometimes the thought arises that I should just quit my job and go be with my family. Sometimes the thought arises that I love my job. I want to do this forever. And it's both just equally this. I mean, it may arise one day that I say, fuck this, slam my door and leave my truck somewhere across the country and catch a plane home. It may arise as me driving trucks at 70 years old. There's any possibility here. There's no way that it should be. There's no way that it shouldn't be. And no matter how it may show itself, it's just equally this. Yeah, it's just blindly itself, really. It's just playing out, so to say. Right, <clears throat> right now I'm still struggling with that whole idea of seeking. I had spent so many years reading books and, and watching audios and things like that. Um, you know, the excitement of coming home and watching another audio and reading another book, which has been gone now for some time, but I really miss the idea of that 
joy of coming home and reading a book because I really don't want to read a book. Um, and so I'm kind of grieving that I don't have that anymore. I mean, I could that rather, rather watch a, a dumb TV show or something. And then I think, well, I should really be watching Nkosi on video or Jim Newman or somebody. And uh, I really don't want to. I want to watch this stupid show. And uh, <laughs> uh, it's just an entertainment thing. And then I'm, I'm, that's kind of where my mind is uh, struggling with uh, to some degree. But that too is what's appearing now. And maybe the show is just where I really need to be. And it's not better or worse than Nkosi or Jim Newman or anything else. Yeah, beautiful. Yes. You, know, then, you might say, forget this show. I'm going to go watch Jim Newman. <laughs> no, I don't feel like it. No. Anything. I'm sorry. I mean, sorry. Well, it doesn't matter, you know. Maybe that's just uh, an innocent interest to watch a show. So, that's it. Not having an interest to go to a Zoom meeting may happen, or no interest to watch Jim Newman or go to meetings may just suddenly arise, you know, waking up and, well, I'm done with it. Yeah, and, and it does arise to watch them. Um, and it does arise, and I do, and I enjoy it. But maybe in this moment, I want to watch this show on TV. And um, I guess all of it is this, and not to break it apart, or that, that should word um, is crazy making. Well, even, even the back and forth, is it already, you know? Or the wondering why? You know, maybe there's a why. Why do I don't want to go to Jim Newman anymore? I want to watch just another show. Yeah, just at that particular time, right? It's just what's happening. At that time, yes. Judging, maybe. Thinking back. So, so I get that it's just all happening. Mm -hmm. I, I can I can sort of get that or accept that. But whether it's truck driving or watching TV or the different examples that are being used, although whatever is happening is happening, it's just this. Over here, it seems like if I. Um, watch a, a, a tv show or, or just do something mindless just you know eat a bag of cheetos or something or if i meditate and that's all just this that's all just this it seems now this is where i don't know get me on this one it seems that over here there's a different consequence for those two different actions. And over here, it seems like I prefer a certain consequence over a different consequence. So, um, so feedback for that. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> you mean like, you know, cause you know, there's no way to argue with it. It's just simply what's happening. You know, wanting a certain outcome is this already. Yeah, and thinking that the spiritual search is more important than eating a bag of Doritos or the spiritual search watching a non-duality video is more important than my silly little YouTube TV show or Netflix. It's just this already. Yeah. Beautiful. But yeah, so I, I sort of get that it's just this, but I I think there are con. There, but what's going to happen next in, in your life? What's what's going to be this in the next moment? I'm still saying is somehow based on what also has already happened in this. 
Well, that's it too. The bot. <laughs> no, bot. <laughs> the bot. <laughs> Is <Yeah>. it all right? <laughs> right. Yeah. It, so it sounds a little like just. It sounds a little like control. If I won't eat this bag of Cheetos, I'll feel better. If I eat it, I don't. It's, is that what you're kind of saying? No, either way is it. Eating the bag of chips is it, not eating it. So in that yeah. case, they're both this. Yes, Don, the consequences may appear different. You may, right? They're, certainly. You right. Know, I'm not, I'm not, I, so I, I know what you're saying, but it's, right. still, it's still just this. Right, so it's it's still just this, and I I can sort of get that, but it, I mean, it seems like humans want certain outcomes. If there are outcomes or consequences, most of us would want a certain outcome or consequence, which would require not just saying, "Well, this is it." So if I'm eating the Cheetos watching the t watching the tv and i say well this is it and yeah i mean or are you saying if you can say this is it as you're eating cheetos oh god you're <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you do if you do that three days in a row then you go to bed and you have a stomach ache yeah and you yeah. can say you can say this is it yeah yeah you could say that okay this is it yeah so I'm sitting there with a stomach ache, not feeling well, can't sleep, whatever. This is it. Now, in, in my mind, I could say, well, if I didn't do that for the three days, if I didn't, if I did something, if I did not do that, I'd be able to sleep tonight and feel more that's, well. That's it. That's it. That's it's already it. You know, overeating and then wishing you hadn't overeat like an idiot. Is that exactly? Yeah. There's already nobody doing nothing. It's like somebody who kills somebody and sits in prison and says, Man, I shouldn't have killed that person. That's just that's just it. That's this. Me slamming my door and leaving my truck across the country and saying, F this job, that's just this. And there might be consequences to that, apparent consequences, but that's just just as much this. <laughs> Having remorse about slamming the door or second thoughts about eating three days uh, Doritos. Is this already? Well, what would all you folks say if someone said, yeah, if they if they chimed in and said, yeah, that's right, it's deterministic. What do you mean? Yeah. Like if you if you listen there's like uh there's like a like free will versus determinism like not that i'm suggesting that that dichotomy means anything but you hear that you hear, you'll hear debates like physicists will debate it and probably meta metaphysicists and stuff and uh some will say yeah we're making choices like the normal thing is that people are assuming that they're making choices like Am I going to eat a bag of Doritos? Am I going to watch uh, some kind of a, a show, this show or that show? Or am I going to meditate or whatever? Like, hmm, which one am I going to do? And then someone, like a physicist might say, well, it's deterministic. You don't make any choices at all. Well, that, that, that itself is just innocently happening already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like debating. Debate just what you're doing, questioning. It's just this already innocently saying, well, the scientists say this. And <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's just this appearing as a physicist and a and a you and a, contemplating these different ideas, and it's all just this. I mean agreeing, disagreeing, whatever it may appear as it's just this yeah and there's no this there seems to be the mind will so to say objectify this oh okay i see what those guys are saying it's all this it's all this well <laughs> yeah
Well, wouldn't you say, Michael, that that's just putting a name to something that is really, truly just nothing? And and that's just is equally this. I mean, it's just uh, saying that it's this or God or yeah. Shiva or whatever you call it. Doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, you could say it's Shiva and you picture the image of Shiva, but it's just it's just this. It's There's nothing. Um, there's really no word for it. But thinking that there's a word for it is also just this. It's just whatever may arise. Yeah, and at the same time, which makes no sense, every word is this already. Yeah, there's not a thing called this or no thing called this. So this objectifying seems to happen which is this already it, it, it's almost like the the question of like free will versus non-free will becomes irrelevant i think because if it appears like it does like it's free will that's it and if it appears like it's not free will it's it, that's it it's almost like the whole question becomes a move it doesn't matter um, exactly and and i think what people try and do is like even in the in the non-dual context they try to solve it and say well it's there is no free will because there is no you but those are all just descriptions but in the end it's whatever appears if it appears like it's there great if it doesn't appear like it's there great if you hit the hammer on your thumb does it matter if there's free will or not if you hit the hammer on the thumb there's just hitting the hammer on the thumb and the pain doesn't saying well i did that or i didn't do that <laughs> doesn't matter still the pain's just there it's just what's happening it's so direct that the words are it already whatever is being said right now is this already and that's all there is we're not talking about a this somewhere else or conceptual this. No, this. How much does yeah. this di how much does this dialogue bleed into your like if you go out for coffee with people, like or like out to dinner with like, you know, <laughs> I'm just curious, like for some of some of you guys and girls and folks, like how much of this kind of dialogue bleeds into your for me, a fair amount of it bleeds in. I'm tending, like, I go to the machine shop and there's the machinist and, like, I'm telling them that we don't... I, I tell them things that are 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 similar to the kind of dialogue that goes around here, but uh, not, not a ton. I just get to know people and kind of sneak it in and see if, you know, see if how things go. So I just wonder, like, how much of this kind of thing bleeds into your normal daily interactions with people well that's just a bleeding that's not something which bleeds into something else that's i know just... it is but you you know what i'm talking about come on kid i would say none of it bleeds into my conversations i feel if i'm in, somehow imbued with being with this perhaps that could or couldn't communicate but that's none of my business so i just get to be in my own heart so you I don't, don't you don't you don't you don't like bring this up like if you're out with friends, huh? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. I mean, I would sense if a friend had an opening for it, I certainly would go there. But you know, I I'm I'm um I'm very sensitive, so I can kind of sense those things, and maybe a lot of us are, but mm -hmm. I would not ever go in to violate uh someone else with my belief system. Well, I don't I don't mean like a violation, like it would seem like uh, overstepping my bounds if I were to. Oh. Okay, all right. I mean, that's just for me. You asked the question. It's hard I to would... control. I'm sorry, Sander. It's hard to control. I mean, who knows what's next? Who knows what you are going to do, so to say, tomorrow in five minutes, what you are going to say, anything may happen. Maybe saying just this will happen or not. 
That's true. Thank you. I mean, if the conversation appears to arise, then it just arises. If it if it doesn't, then it doesn't. Well, it's just like a natural thing to me. I I, I say it actually like I'll say I don't I don't really use the phrase "everything is this" so much, but like uh, I I will say just arbitrarily to anyone like if there's some if there's something going down that's freaking people out. I'll say this: no one is having these experiences. Holy I God. might I might shy away from saying it to the president of the company, but to my colleagues at all kinds of different levels, I just seem it seems to me like as natural as saying like peanut butter and jelly. And these colleagues may look at you like you're crazy or, sure. these, co or these colleagues might agree with you and either or could happen. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. Talk about this. Don't talk about it. Try and talk about it and have the people look at you like you're crazy. It's all still this. It this this doesn't move. It's not getting anywhere. It's it's not becoming more this. It's not becoming less this. It's simply this. Just whatever is innocently and effortlessly. Just this. And no yeah. one's go ahead. Sorry, exactly. And there's not a thing to talk about. I mean, this is it already. Talking, sitting, listening. It's not a separate something which is talked about, which is not this already. So whatever is happening or not happening, so to say, is this already. It's not something else hidden. It's not a thing called this. There's... So to say non-duality is not a thing. There's not a thing called non-duality or duality. So we can say this is duality and non-duality at the same time. It's just simply this. Feeling there's a you or feeling there's no you is already just simply this. And talking about this is this already. Uh, I just feel like no, saying that or noticing that this already is not relevant to a person. It's not relevant to anyone who's, I mean, like Thomas is telling the story of this person in a, at a job and Don was telling the story about Don uh, in, a, in a situation where there are consequences. If I do this thing, then there's, then this thing could happen. If I do something else, it could be a different way. That's the person in a world with consequences and in a world that could get better. The, I, you know, what I do may affect how things are and it could be something that would happen that would be better for this person. Well, that's a person and that's a story of a person and that's a, an experience and or whatever we want to call it. But, what, but th this already doesn't have anything to do with that person. This already doesn't have anything to do with this story of consequences or of how to act or what to make, how to make sense of a world of working and, and news and stuff going on, consequences. There's a story of a person where, who's doing stuff that matters and making a difference to the 
to, to an outcome that's going to affect the person. That's what a person is. But this this already doesn't have anything, any relation to that person. Well, there's already no separate person for any of this to, to matter to. There's already no separate person going to work and dealing with coworkers. I mean, it's just this. There is no person that's separate from this it's just i've heard it said that it's just this this thing you know it's 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 just yeah how it appears it's not appearing to somebody nothing's happening to somebody there's no separate person dealing with consequences there may appear to be a separate special you with these special individual consequences but it's just simply it's just this Exactly. Right. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Thinking that yeah. you're going to get Let's to help. the bottom yeah. is, is this exactly. already. I mean, it's so beautifully innocent that it just doesn't say no. So whatever you think it is, that's it. Whatever you think it isn't, that's it. That's the no escape part. It doesn't matter liking, not liking, hating. Not liking what's happening in the moment can happen. Yeah, I don't like this. Beautiful. That's what's happening. And like the wind, two minutes later, oh, oh, I'm having such a good time. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking it's important for me as a person is already impersonally this. So thinking this choice is better for me than, you know, it's better for me to not eat Doritos and to then or to meditate is already impersonally this. There's already no person behind the decisions. There's just making decisions. Yeah, there's just the raw thought, if you will. Just a thought, innocently appearing. However, I like, I don't like, I shouldn't, I should. Oh, I didn't want to, but I am. What if, then that, is this already? If I do this, then that will happen. That's not good for me. Is this? Natural, trying to avoid pain. Is already innocently this. Mm -hmm. Trying to have a good life is already just innocently this. Fear. Mm. Fear can arise. And then trying to do something to get out of the fear also can arise. Sorry, Xander. No, I, I wasn't. You know, I mean, thinking or feeling like a person is already impersonally this. So I'm actually going through something where I took an action at work that I didn't want to do a particular um, uh, work day. And, um, and I have some fear that I'll get some um, repercussions from it. <laughs> so this is so appropriate that we're talking about this because it's just what I'm feeling right now. I'll go to work tomorrow. Hopefully I'll, I'll hear something, but there is apprehension and fear, but that is still what I needed to do for myself. I felt that was the best for this person. So I did that action. Um, but so when you say it's all this, I guess what I'm I'm staying with, well, it's just this, what I feel in my stomach right now, that fear, and that's okay. It's just there. And uh, maybe it'll, I don't know how long it'll be there. It feels like it'll be there until the answer comes. Yeah, so that's it, Alice. Innocently 
feeling like, oh gosh, maybe I'm going to get in trouble and work is going to be a problem and being concerned is just innocently this. Mm -hmm. That's what's arising. Yes. All righty. All right. That's really and helpful to follow it through step by step the way you just did with me. Thank you. And we say like, like that's just what is arising, and and I would say, and and not even, yeah, and not even. I mean, there's nobody experiencing this. There's nobody that this affects. I mean, it's just, it's nothing. Essentially. Yeah, but it may if it feels in the moment like a something, like I'm there's really going to be consequences, and it feels real, then that's just what's happening. Exactly that. That, yeah. I I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, and yeah. We can say we can say it's it's nothing in the sense that it's not a thing. You know, sitting and having a fearful feeling in the stomach, and not knowing what to do is not a thing. You cannot take it. You cannot hold it. Yes, that's yeah. that. That's what was arising from here was, you know, that there's, there's, uh, it, it, it's apparently all happening and there's nothing to it. There's nobody feeling it. There's nobody, it's not affecting anybody separate from this. It's just this. No, so, so sitting and wondering what will happen tomorrow and having a certain sensation in the stomach. It's not a thing, and at the same time, it's completely everything what seems to be going on. Exactly. Thank you. It's this. This is it. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. And and so can can it be just this? Is it? There's a sense of this, whatever. Just this, this seeing whether I like seeing things and recognizing or having this feeling of recognition and then also at the same time having this arising or whatever the terminology is of I don't got to like knowing that you you don't know what it is you can't know what it is it's 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 beyond knowing and yet there's something that seems to be here but what it is is just really unknown like and that's almost like two things going at once, but it's all the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, beautiful, Jen. Like it, 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 it. Uh, There's a uh, that the words. You see, this words. There's uh, there will always be problem with word, but the recognition of unknowable. But there's a sense of something happening, and there's a sense of unknowable all at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there can be a sense that, yeah, I, I kind of get, you know, I kind of get that it's not knowable, and yet there can still be a sense of trying to figure it out and know it. Well, there's a sense of some, like something arising. We're all in description of it, even saying, oh, well, that is even it. But there's all an, always an, this unknowing, this like uh, not knowing being, a, there's an awareness, and that in itself has to be it, right? That. I can't even know what this is. It's a complete mystery. It's beyond knowing, really. But then there's knowing. Yeah, you can't. You separate. And again, this is this is a problem. Talking know, is a problem. Knowing and not knowing are not two. It's yeah. The same. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, saying you can't know it is just another knowing. The knowing that you can't. Yeah, know it. it's the I knowing mean, of not of not knowing, but it's a it's an it's it's. It's here, you know, at the same time, I guess. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. okay. yeah. Feeling like this can never be known or yeah. feel like it could, or I'm on my way or. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah. Well, again, it, you know, it, it does get terrifying to talk in language because it's an impossibility. So it'll be a problem, but I think this whole sense of not knowing for the first time under really understanding a sense of not knowing was different very recently. Hmm. And that's what I, it's like, 
I can't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's no, unfathomable. Yeah. No, no. But, I, I, but I'm not. Yeah. No word. But I can't really not say either. There's the shape in front of me that I, and, and it has to be it too, you know, like. Yeah. So, so we can say it's known, it's just talking and sitting, and at the same time, it's a complete mystery. Mm -hmm. And there's an awareness. There's something else. There's also something going on that there's a, there's a, that it is, and there's an unknown. The sense of unknown feels as known as whatever's arising. <laughs> I don't know. Just my share. Just Beautiful. Share. Thank you. Thanks, Jana. Any last comments or questions before we close out this evening? Yeah, I just want to say that it's been really a good meeting for me. And I'm just, I'm sitting with this feeling in my stomach. And it just feels fine to just be here. And I think if it wasn't for this, I'd probably go and eat something after the meeting or something to run away from this <laughs> discomfort that... I, I don't know, but it's okay that it's there. Yeah, I have some apprehension about tomorrow and I and and it's just what's here right now. So thank you very much for mm. helping me clarify that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, everybody. Sander, brother. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, so much. thank you. Beautiful night. Good, day. Good night, everybody. Good night. Night.